The Yukon Huskies just won their fifth national championship in school history thanks to having a team full of talent and an amazing coach in Dan Hurley. Adama Sanogo, Andre Jackson Jr., and Jordan Hawkins were a three-headed monster that could not be stopped as a team dominated every opponent they had ultimately leading to the Huskies crowned as champions. With those three players now in the NBA, is it possible for UConn to repeat? It may be possible, but how can UConn do it? Bringing in a top five recruiting class will surely help. A class that contains the likes of Stephon Castle, Solomon Ball, Jalen Stewart, Jaden Ross, and Yusuf Singar will definitely increase the team's chances of being able to repeat. It's expected that Castle and Ball could see significant time early on. Being the 10th and 46th top rated recruit respectively, it would not be out of the question to see these guys get moments early. These players can be expected to soften a blow when it comes to losing the impact guys like Hawkins, like Jackson Jr. This will not be easy as Hawkins and Jackson Jr. both had experience in the college ranks even though Hawkins himself was only a sophomore. However, these freshmen will have some upperclassmen to help guide them on the floor as the Huskies are returning some key players from their championship winning squad. Tristan Newton, Alex Caravan, and Donovan Klingen are all players who Hurley will expect to be leaders on this team. This team will more than likely be led by Newton, an incredible three-point shooter that also has the playmaking ability to run the offense. Alex Caravan is a returning redshirt junior who is dangerous in spot-up catch-and-shoot opportunities. He will have more of a role this year and expect to see him used very similarly to how Hawkins was used last year. Then you have Donovan Klingon, who is destined to have the biggest role change out of all the returning players. Klingon looked great in his minutes last year, averaging 7.6 rebounds and 2 blocks in just 13 minutes a game. Expect all of that to jump tremendously as he will be a key part, if not the on-court leader for the team. The nation will be watching him carefully as he is expected to be a potential first-round pick in the 2024 draft. So, with all eyes on him, I would expect him to show out. A player we have not talked about yet but will play a major role is Cam Spencer, who is a guard that transferred from Rutgers. Averaging 13 points, 4 rebounds, and 3 assists with great shooting splits, Spencer will be another offensive weapon for this team. He shows up on defensive end as well by creating turnovers by playing the passing lanes. Now, this roster is not the same as last season, but it still is one of the better rosters in the Big East and the nation as well. But how can the Yukon Huskies even make it to the national championship in repeat if they're not able to get past the Big East? I think they will be, but we need to go over the Big East to kind of explain what they're up against. It should be expected that the five-time champions will fare well in the Big East, with key threats being Marquette, who are returning majority of their key players and I think will be a tough out a revamped Villanova team, another revamped St. John's team that completely replaced everyone once Rick Pitino got there, and a Creighton squad that is bringing back the likes of some of their best players in Trey Alexander and Ryan Kalkbrenner. It will not be easy for the Huskies, but that does not mean it's impossible. This talented team can win the conference despite barely losing in the last year's championship matchup against Marquette. Dan Hurley and team have a task in hand trying to repeat next year, as it's only been done seven times not counting UCLA's amazing run from 1967 to 1973. But if there's ever going to be a school that gets it right at the right time and take the tournament into their own hands, it would be the UConn Huskies.